Welcome back to another Chandler's Wildlife. We are here back at the Everglades Outpost, a sanctuary that we come to every couple weeks and give them a hand. As you can see, we're at their big, beautiful deep water pool for their alligators. This is where some of their rescue alligators go, where some of the nuisance alligators that are caught up out in neighborhoods, they end up living their lives out in here instead of getting turned into boots, bags, and belts. So what's really interesting is they're gonna actually repaint this pit, which means we have to move all these alligators out of here and into a holding enclosure. There's about six that we gotta catch up, so let's get it started. Gotta get ready real quick. You just stay there, Mr. Alligator. I'm coming. Just gotta get him on swim for us. So she doesn't beat herself up on the concrete. That's a real quick catch. <laughs> Will, well, take your one hand, take the goggles off my head. Completely. All right. All right, Gator one. We're not done yet, we've got to make it out of here. Now that I've got the alligator in a spot where I feel comfortable enough to maneuver onto his backside, I need to put my knee over his back and put some weight down to secure his jaws. But here's the problem. After I put my knee down, he starts to get a little cantankerous, thrash around, and then this is where things get here. He death rolls in my arm, over my bicep, gets off me, I get back on him, and he thrashes again, and I bring him back over, and we're both steaming. I'm trying to get a breath, and I just need a moment to breathe, but it's about to get even more hairy. I'm gonna need my breath. It's not about fighting the animal, it's just working with the animal, trying to move with his body language because he's a lot stronger than me. All right, guys, I'm gonna secure his jaws now. Now, guys, do not fall under the assumption that this animal's gassed out and has no more energy. I go to cover this animal's eyes to calm him down. I grab the loose portion of skin on the bottom jaw to lift it up, and then I slowly reach for the snout to secure the jaws. And that's when all hell broke loose. <laughs> All right guys, now it's time to break down what you just witnessed. So if you look real close, see his little foot? It starts to cock and his tail begins to lean. He goes into the death roll, brings me down with him, and then his body is on top of my chest. He flies over my face, down to the water. I've still got the hold of loose portion of skin. I'm holding on, I've got his head. He twists, gets out of my grip. I let go to keep myself from getting bit. I back off, and then once I see he turns around, I go back in for the dive to secure the animal, because I've got a job to do. They asked me to get these alligators. I'm gonna get them out. <sighs> now it's time to catch my breath, and I finally got the alligator almost secured. Now I just gotta close those jaws. Still got a lot of energy. All right, I got tape in my pocket right here, in this hand. So 
So what I did was sticky side up so it doesn't actually stick to their skin. They have very sensitive pressure receptors all around their jaws to help them hunt at night, detecting vibration in the water or any kind of movement. So if I put the sticky side on that and then I rip it off, it's gonna mess with their sensors, it's gonna irritate the skin, and I don't want that. So I did sticky side up, looped it around, and wrapped it on its own self. Now, we have to take the alligator out. Okay, there we go, first gator out. <laughs> okay guys, we've got the first alligator. It is about eight, six foot. Gators are still dangerous, even with, even with, even with no tape. That's solid bone. If it smashes into your leg, it's gonna shatter that bone, leaving floating fragments in your leg. Hits you in the head, you can get a concussion. Brain hemorrhage. All that nasty stuff can happen. So I'm gonna go real calm, real slow, and try to keep this gator from freaking out. Oh, you're gonna give me the tail? Yeah, so if it whips you, it whips you. Okay guys, I'm gonna cover the eyes, keep the animal calm. We're good to go, first gator's done. Well, not yet, let's come to the enclosure. This is one of the five or six nuisance alligators we're gonna be moving out of that pond while their pond gets repainted, new paint job, and we're gonna go put them in this holding enclosure for now. All right, guys, this is the temporary holding enclosure. There's a water pool right over here. Oh, you're still a little, a little excited, I can see that. Do you have a little bit of firepower in there? Just a little bit. We'll let him be. Enjoy your temporary home, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to whack off the... Oh, he's tensing up. All right, well, grab that mask for me. Jesus. Ah! All right, let's secure those shoes. <laughs> got too much in the way in the water, buddy. That's a little bad. There we go. Coochie, coochie, coochie. I got a freaking alligator between my legs. You want to get out of here? No. Coochie, coochie. <laughs> People think we're psycho, okay? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Best part about wet tape is the cardboard in the middle. You know, you'd think that these smaller alligators are easier. It's a lot safer, it's not. We'd much rather be dealing with 12, 13 foot alligators. Fat. Energy burns out real quick, but these smaller ones, they're consistently firing off like a firecracker. And if they grab you and they spin, that one's gone. All right, ready? Take them to the next spot? Yeah. Let's do it. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'd much rather be dealing with the 12 footer. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. 
Come, come look, quick. Look at this. Zoom in right there. Guys, do you know what that is? This, this big fatty part right here. Do you know what this is called, guys? Look at me. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> You thought I was gonna say something serious, like these I are the jowls. something behind me. They keep showing up a wrench. I'm Is like, it? I'm trying to slide it to the camera.